Home, up here in Scotland, in Greenock, where my grandfather used to have a butcher's shop, and I'm here to see if it's still there. When my grandfather came back from the war in 1945, he opened a butcher's on Greenock's bustling high street. In those days, everyone brought their meat from the local butcher, and there were queues outside the shop. And it wasn't just like that in Greenock. When I was a kid, everyone brought their meat from local butchers, like my grandfather's. But Britain's butchers are beginning to look like an endangered species. Where'd you get your meat from? Tesco's. Tesco's. <laughs> Tesco's. Out of Tesco's. Out of Tesco's. Tesco's. Supermarkets? Yes. And what's wrong with your butchers? We've got one I found it. Now, according to these photographs, this is where my grandfather's butcher shop used to be. And it's actually a sort of health food shop now, which is quite sad in a way, because all I remember from him in the early days is just how long and how hard he used to work. Dad's grand shop was just there. That's right, yes, yeah, it used to be. That's right, yes, no These days, 75% of our meat is bought from supermarkets, and sadly, butcher shops are closing across the UK. And it's not just the lack of customers that threatens our high street butchers. They're also struggling to find people who want to work in them. Ever thought about becoming a butcher? No, never. Would you ever consider becoming a butcher? No. You're leaving school in a couple of years' time? No. Yeah? Ever thought about becoming a butcher? No. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> if we lose the high street butcher, we lose a crucial food skill. The average age of a British butcher today is 57 years of age. So, if there's any chance of the high street butcher surviving, we've got to encourage more youngsters to come into the industry. I'm here in Leeds at the Thomas Danby College to see if there's a glimmer of hope. Morning, guys. How are we? These three 17-year-old lads are bucking the trend and training to be skilled butchers at one of the few colleges that still offer a butchery course. What's your ambitions? Hopefully, to take over my father's shop. He's got a shop in the Burr Market. Women like butchers. <laughs> I thought it was firemen. No, butchers. So butchers are the new firemen, yeah, right? They love a good butcher. They love a good butcher. If these lads are going to succeed, they need to know how to cut meat. But they also need to understand how to cook it. OK, cooking the steak. Uh, it's a big advantage when customers walk in and ask you um, how to cook a steak perfectly. I've got a fail-safe trick to make sure your steak is cooked perfectly every time. So we've got rare, medium. Well done, it's just there. Is that nice and rare? Yep. Yep. That is a rare steak. Danny, how have you cooked yours? Medium. Medium. Good man. So, touch it. How's that cooked? Cool. Fucking hell, yeah, that is well done, yeah. Looks like a pair of Dr. Martins. <laughs> and you cooked this for your girlfriend two weeks ago? Yeah. yeah. Is she still with you? Yeah. Is she still chewing as well? <laughs> Give these guys a chance and support your local butchers. These guys are here to stay and we need more of them.